Hi guys, welcome to part three of the build. You can see now I've got the plug all waxed up and polished. So it's really nice and shiny. You can see on the edges, just where it's hard to sand, there's some little gaps I put in some filleting wax, it's yellow stuff. And I've made it into a split mold. So this structure here is just made out of plastic corex and I think it's made out of polypropylene because it releases very nicely from the fiberglass and then just in the little gaps for litting wax. So this will mean that I can release the transom part first and then release the main hull and make it much easier to get it out of a mould and also it means that if I wanted to do a longer version, I can just make a new transom mould rather than having to remake the whole mould. Also, when we do an inboard version, it will need a slightly different transom. So you can also see, try and get it to focus, those little pyramids, again made out of filleting wax. I'll just show you I'll just show you how I make those quickly. Right, so this stuff here, this is the filleting wax. I think in the olden days it was originally made out of beeswax, but I think this is some sort of plasticky wax. So you just roll it up into a rough ball, piece of Corex, or whatever you're using to make your split mould, and just squish it down and then just with a Stanley knife blade cut four bevels into it I haven't done a very good job on that one but you get a nice little sharp locating pyramid so this will be the flange on the split mold and this will just help to locate it nicely and so we uh, gel coat over this then fiber glass over it and when we this is thrown away you rip this off the wax will actually end up stuck inside and you dig this out and you have that shape made out of fiber glass so it just helps locate the uh, split part of the mould together. Right, so we're about to uh, start gel coating. It's got it's uh, three coats of mirror glaze wax, and just to ensure release, I use a bit of this stuff. So this is PVA, not PVA like the glue. It's got like some funky blue colour. And this just helps to guarantee release. It also kind of ruins the surface finish. But it means I'll definitely be, definitely be able to get the mould off a plug, which is quite important. So I like to water this down 50-50, just with water. And then I'll apply it very thinly with a sponge all over the whole mould. And uh, then we'll start gel coating. Like I said, it, it doesn't do the finish any good. It will end up quite rough and streaky, but that's okay because we can polish it out of the mould. But it's it's worth doing this just because I don't want to get it stuck.
moulds totally laid up now. You can see I've glassed in quite a few ribs and strengthening bits. This structure here and that bit there, that's so I can put casters on it when I flip it over so that I can wheel it around the workshop nice and easily. Nice bar up the front to keep it all rigid. And these triangulating bits there, mainly just to keep the flange nice and level. And the reason I've done such a wide flange is for the um, vacuum infusing tube which will go all the way around the edge. I've just ground that edge off so it's nice and neat on the um, split of the mould and you can already see it's sort of trying to release already. So first of all I'll have a go at releasing the transom and then we'll try and release the whole mould. Putting all the strengthening ribs, glassing them in at this stage, it means it's going to be harder to release. But if, if the mould gets a bit stuck, it might damage the plug when I'm releasing it, then it won't sit back down, so it wouldn't be nice and even for the strengthening ribs to go on, so I'd rather they go on now while it's definitely in its correct shape. So now we'll just have a go at releasing that transom.
the moulds come off and release quite nicely. I just use that hoist to flip it over, it's not that heavy, so it wasn't too much of a problem. Um, good clean release. I've got in a couple of places voids like that, which I'm a bit annoyed about, but it's okay. They're, they're very deep, so I think it's where the gel coat wrinkled up where it shrunk before um, before I put the glass over it but it's no great disaster because I can do gel repairs on those quite easily finish is how it comes out with PVA so it is flat but this has got the streakiness of a PVA most of that will wash out but I'll actually uh, I'll give it a good polish I won't do any of the repairs or polishing yet until um, a couple of little bits of paint but not much. I won't actually do the polishing until I've made the other mould. The longer I leave it to um, for the gel to get harder the better it will be. Another void in there. That nasty. It's, it looks worse than it is. is It's actually perfectly flat. It's just uh, the streakiness from the uh, PVA release. Have a couple bits of um, paint. And obviously, I've still got to trim that flange off. But it's all. Quite portable on its uh, casters. So, yeah, pretty pleased. So, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, now I've just got to drag that out to plug and that will get burnt. Can't think of anything else to do with it. It's too heavy to be a boat in itself and not strong enough. So next we'll start on making the plug for the deck. So thanks very much for watching. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, see you later. Bye.